Live from Chicago, Illinois, this is week five of the Simulation Football League's 13th season. And with one third of the season already behind us, it's time to separate the contenders from the pretenders. One of the surprises of this season has been the season nine runners up, Chicago Wildcats, as they come in with one of the league's top offenses. They will face a stern test from the visiting Tallahassee Pride, and but don't let their two and two record fool you. The two-time SFL runners-up have the number one scoring defense in the SFL and are looking to rebound and grab another statement win tonight. Hello, happy to have your company. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Michael Trillo, and I'm joined at the booth this evening by Levant Mercer. Levant, it's a good day in Chicago, and it's a good day for the SFL. It's a good day to fly, because both of these teams love running the air raid, and we're going to have a lot of high-flying action today. Expect a lot of points, expect a lot of deep passes, and maybe some interceptions as well. The coin toss is won by Chicago. And they will defer to the second half. Don't go anywhere. Kickoff is next. We are just about re ready to go here from Chicago. Jesus Garcia is the... Chicago kicker, he's got the ball on the tee. He's got his hand in the air. The whistle blows and it is game on from Chicago, Illinois. The turning it up for the pride today is Hunter Jones and he takes it up to the 27 yard line. Let's introduce you to the key players that we'll be watching when the Tallahassee pride have the football. The quarterback is Christian Christensen. The running back is A.J. Francis. Wide receivers are Ken Gossett, Hunter Jones, and Jason Willis. First play from scrimmage going right to left in this first quarter. We've got three receivers bunched to the right and one to the left as Christensen is under center. Here's a strong side handoff to Francis, and Francis broke a tackle and got seven yards on first down. Oh, Francis was a key man for Tallahassee. But he was also one for Carolina when he played there. And that, he just shows you time and time again what he's capable of every time he gets the ball. Touched the ball 20, 22 times for 71 yards and a touchdown in their last week loss to Denver. Christensen to throw for the first time. He's going to launch it down the field. And it's a one-handed catch at the 40-yard line of Chicago. What a catch, Ken Gossett, is that's the kind of thing you'll be seeing all night long. That it is. He's known for doing that with the greatest of ease. This is not going to be the first time you're going to see a great acrobatic catch by Gossett today. Gossett's the main man on the Tallahassee receiving core. Four touchdowns for him so far on the year. Here's an underneath pass to Grayson Willis. First time he'll touch the ball today. He'll get... He'll get six, rather, on first down. Sets up a second and four. Now each one of these receivers are do and have a different role in this offense, as we've seen Gossett going on up top. Willis is more of the underneath type. He'll make those possession grabs across the sidelines there. Here is a throw to the far side for Gossett. He'll turn the corner, get a first down up to the 28 as Tallahassee's moving the ball very efficiently so far on this first drive. Let's meet the unit trying to stop Christensen and company. Here is the Chicago defensive stars. Linebackers, Clint Hendershot and Blake Craze. Corners, Greg Gaines and Jesse Vick. And safeties, Maurice Spurgeon and A.J. Barnes. That's what we'll be watching in black, silver, and orange tonight. Here is Christensen. Going to throw to the far side. And tapping the toes for seven yards is Hunter Jones. Hunter Jones is more utilized as a slot receiver, but as we've seen there, he can also do play, do and make plays on the sidelines there just as well. Second out of three from the Chicago 22. Tallahassee has already flipped the field from where they started at their own 27. Christensen short drop over the middle into coverage. That one falls incomplete. Blake Craze was the man that knocked it down, and there was some fierce pressure coming up the middle towards Christensen on that play. 
I was up. One of the key hallmarks of Chicago has always been linebacker play, and they finally got Hendershot some help in the middle there with Blake Craze, who's been a pro bowler, so he knows what needs to be done on that defensive front there. Christensen to Willis, first down to the 16-yard line inside the SFL, presented by APM Music Red Zone for the first time today. For the Tallahassee offense, purple helmets, white jerseys, yellow pants for them, purple highlights with the paw prints there, and you can see the chat room with SFL Nation chatting it up, cheering on their favorite teams. If you want to get involved, head on over to the 11 Sports Next Twitch channel. To the end zone, Christensen knocked away. He was looking for Gossett, and it was well defended in the end zone there. Greg Gaines knocked it away. Or Maurice Spurgeon rather knocked it away. Uh, pro bowler in his own right. Some would contend he didn't need to be there, but with plays like this, you know, sometimes just being in the area, I'm not sure why we're looking at him when he wasn't really involved in the play much, but, you know, that happens sometimes. But about him, he has been a pro bowler, and he also is very good at run support. In his fifth season in Chicago, after coming over from Carolina, where he played three, Christensen on second and ten to the end zone, underneath the coverage, and you can put it on the board. Touchdown, Tallahassee, as Grayson Willis caps off an efficient first drive with his first touchdown of the year. Well, Tallahassee's always had great wide receivers, and Christensen just knows how to put dots. Look at this dot right there, right at the perfect spot that ball needed to be. And he knows his receivers have the skill to go out and grab it, so... He could lead them out in front. He could put him on the. He could put those passes on the high shoulder. He could put uh, high point passes. It doesn't matter how he does it. He's going to get it there. Sometimes the S's, S's do end up in the hands of other um, defenders, but that just happens sometimes. Most times, most times, what you see is what you get with Christensen. And but that time, right on the money. I mean, and you saw right there what he's been doing for five seasons in Tallahassee, and I mentioned off the top, this Pride team has been to the SFL championship game twice in the past three seasons. Unfortunately, lost both of those times to Alaska. But they did get their revenge earlier this season, beating Alaska at home. 